following message is transmitted at the request of Adrian Shelby 2050 EAS. This video contains EAS tones, and Adrian Shelby 2050 will not be responsible for any false activations. Playing it on the air would cause panic and get fined up to $450,000, please don't be stupid. So, sit back, and enjoy the video. French general staff to be compelled to throw in every man they have. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. Various reports came in from Japan that the missiles from North Korea had been launched and the missile was said to be flying across Japan. The governor of Japanese blamed North Korean for the threat of nuclear missiles but the North Korean leader said it is just a test. It is unknown what North Korea's intentions are at this time. All residents in the United States should be advised to prepare for anything. More information will come shortly. Welcome back. I'm Paul Smith here with the latest updates on the pressing issue of China invading Taiwan. The U.S. is majorly concerned since Taiwan is not a part of China, making this an illegal act of military movement on China's position. This has not only increased tensions with China and the U.S., but multiple reports show that the Chinese have been launching test missiles and having more on-ground soldier training. The Japanese jailer was also activated early this morning at the time of China's attack due to the missile flying very close above their airspace. President Joe Biden has not only scheduled a meeting with Xi Jinping, but has also mobilized the Navy near Chinese seas. Joe Biden has given word saying, they can't be bad, right? I'm sure they'll be willing to talk. More updates on that later.
an emergency action notification has been issued for all of the United States. This emergency message will be sent to your phone to give you guys an update. Good afternoon Americans. Today, President Vladimir Putin announced a new warning for the United States about an aggression act if we keep on interfering with North Korea's missile launch test. The United States has decided not to use nukes in any way. In addition, one nuclear missile was launched from Russia and it is heading straight toward Miami, Florida. The following message was transmitted at the request of the United States government. The North American Aerospace Defense Command has detected one nuclear missile that is gonna impact Miami in the next five minutes. All residents in the city of Miami are strongly urged to seek a follow shelter immediately. Follow is a byproduct of nuclear radiation and exposure to it will be lethal if you are driving. Find the nearest building and attempt to seek shelter in a nearby building. After the blast, it creates a large crater. Do not look directly at the blast. Viewing the blast is extremely dangerous and could cause blindness to your eyes permanently. Remain tuned to this station. Repeating, a nuclear attacking warning has been issued and all residents in Miami are strongly urged to seek a follow shelter now. Welcome to Fox News. Yesterday, a Russian nuclear missile struck the city of Miami, Florida. It could take a few weeks to get the first response from the survivors. The nuclear explosion has caused so much damage and destruction to buildings and other areas. The President of the United States has to decide whether the nuke should be launched toward Russia or not. This is Fox News, and we will be back for more info. Welcome back. I'm Paul Smith here with the latest updates on the pressing issue of tensions between North Korea and the U.S. The U.S. is majorly concerned due to the missile test being launched by North Korea this week. The Japanese jailer was also activated at 10 o'clock this morning, and citizens were advised to stay indoors and move to a fallout shelter. The Japanese Prime Minister has given word, saying that North Korea's actions are reckless and dangerous to their society. The emergency alert system was also activated at 1.04 this afternoon by President Joe Biden. This has put many residents into a state of panic since they don't know if we will be hit with these missiles next. Joe Biden has scheduled a meeting with Kim Jong-un in order to try to lower tensions between us and North Korea. Joe Biden has given word saying their actions will not go unnoticed and I shall do my best to ensure that the United States will be safe from North Korea. More on that later. Citizens of Canada, please pay attention to this alert as this alert can protect your life. The North American Aerospace Command has detected seven nuclear missiles from China and North Korea, and it is expected to make an impact at the following locations within the next five minutes. Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, Montreal, and Sudbury. Anyone within the 20 mile radius of the explosion must evacuate immediately. Citoyens du Canada, veuillez prêter attention à cette alerte car cette alerte peut protéger votre vie. Le commandement aérospatial nord-américain a détecté 7 missiles nucléaires en provenance de Chine et de Corée du Nord, et il devrait avoir un impact aux endroits suivants dans les 5 prochaines minutes. Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, Montréal et Sudbury. 
toute personne se trouvant dans un rayon de 20 000 autour de l'explosion doit évacuer immédiatement. Seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is lethal and could cause blindness permanently. Seek shelter now. Cherchez immédiatement un abri contre les retombées. Les retombées sont mortelles et peuvent causer la cécité de façon permanente. Cherchez un abri maintenant. The President of the United States will be speaking shortly, stand by for this message. My fellow Americans, I would like to recap the recent events over the past few hours or days ago. Since then, North Korea launched another nuclear missile over Japan prompting an air raid siren to activate all over Japan. Since afterward, the US and Japan blamed the North Korea for the threat of the nuclear missiles. But then, the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said it was a test. In other areas in Asia, we speculate China is planning to do with Taiwan, and the Chinese president said that the Chinese army will try and force Taiwan to reunite peacefully. However, We do not see a conflict happening, but where there's conflict, all of us will prepare for anything. Russia has launched one nuclear missile that strikes Miami, Florida. It will take a few days for the first responders after the nuclear explosion. Us as Americans will not interfere, unless one of our allies is being attacked by our enemy nations. For right now, we do not see any conflict happening at the moment. I have ordered the military troops at Red Dawn to nearby areas such as San Francisco, Los Angeles, Houston, Jacksonville, New York City, Chicago, and Seattle. Effective immediately, we will try our best to defend our country from anyone that is attacking us. We will try to provide more updates as soon as to become available. That was the message from the president. All regulating programming may now resume. This is a national emergency, and important details will follow. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government, the United States Homeland Security, and the North American Aerospace Defense Command. NORAD has detected a few launches of nuclear missiles from China, North Korea, Iran, and Russia. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear radiation, and exposure to it is lethal. NORAD has determined that these nuclear missiles will be striking at the following locations within a few minutes. Los Angeles, California, Seattle, Washington, Boise, Idaho, Phoenix, Arizona, Chicago, Illinois, New York City, New York, Charlotte, North Carolina, Indianapolis, Indiana, Charleston, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, Savannah, Georgia, St. Louis, Missouri, San Francisco, California, Hartford, Connecticut, Rochester, New York, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, Anchorage, Alaska, Boston, Massachusetts, Honolulu, Hawaii, Portland, Oregon, Bismarck, North Dakota, and Denver, Colorado. All residents within the 20-mile radius of these impacted areas are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter immediately. The President has been approved to launch the U.S. nuclear missiles to China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea.
This station will go off the air until further notice. Find an underground shelter immediately. If you don't have an underground shelter, move to a basement with no windows.